Hey, good afternoon everyone. I just wanted to drop off a brief word of encouragement and I want to encourage somebody that's in a process that has not been very easy, your development process. I want to encourage you to not abort. The word abort means to prematurely end. It means to terminate before it is completed. And so many of you I've talked to, you, you've you indicated that you uh, feel like you're in a process and not just any process, but a process of isolation. And that really makes me think about um, the caterpillar and the metamorphosis process of the caterpillar. That's the transformation process where the caterpillar um, is transforming or becoming a butterfly. Now, if you know anything about that process that the caterpillar goes through, um, the caterpillar goes through a process that not only does it gain its wings, but it loses some things. And you know, how many of you know that there are times that we have to lose in order to gain? And so a couple of things that the caterpillar loses. First of all, it loses all rights to itself. Why? Because the caterpillar hangs upside down in a position of surrender. And you know, I have to wonder if for some of us if the reason why the process even isn't even more difficult than it needs to be is it are you hanging upside down or, or are you fighting God you know are you cooperating with the process or are you fighting against it are you not willing to do what the caterpillar does he dies to himself because he knows he has to die for the butterfly to live and the old you has to die for the you who God has created this amazing purpose in uh, to, for that you to come alive and so you know we can't fight the process we cannot you can't uh, decide that you want to abort the process because it doesn't feel good you've got to stay in the process and you've got to cooperate you got to surrender your will to the will of God it's not about what you want is what God has for you second the caterpillar loses um, its mouth because a butterfly does not eat um, using a mouth. It uses a different organ. And for some of us, God has to mute us, literally mute us in the process that we are in. Why? Because we can tend to do two things. Talk too much. Uh, you know, it might be the right thing, but we tell the wrong person. Uh, might be the right person, but the wrong time. And so in our isolation process, God does have to literally remove our mouths so that we are not speaking uh, ahead of time. And also, we're not speaking against the process. Process because um, there are times that we say words uh, that contradict what God is doing. Remember, our words have power. So we say things like, oh, I can't do this. I'll never do that. I'll never be that. Yeah, you can abort the process with your words. And finally, uh, the last thing that the caterpillar um, loses is its legs because we know that the caterpillar gains wings um, he becomes a butterfly and he flies for some of us we have to lose our legs why so that we won't get up off of that surgery table <laughs> when dr. God starts cutting and and prodding we can't get up and run some of us we are um, we're trying to run from the process and that's making it even harder you know here's the reality we all want to go to the next level right and and life is about seasons some seasons are more um, appealing than others and you might be in a season that's not appealing but guess what you are being prepared for the next level and here's the deal what happens if when we abort when we try to uh, end a process before it's completed it's like a premature baby you know when a premature baby is born they have to attach him or her to um, to um, what do you call it to equipment and things to to help their organs fully develop some of us we are trying to go into our next season underdeveloped you know sometimes we see some people uh, I want to call them half done uh, butterflies you know we incredibly gifted but man really insecure you know um, can sing like you know can bring the house down as a songbird but there are major strongholds on their lives you know we have to go through the process y'all and let the process do what the process is intended to to do so don't abort the process cooperate with God and by the way stop trying to bring other people into your cocoon that cocoon is meant for one person 
you, you and God, that isolation time, God wants to turn it into intimacy. He is a jealous God and he's not trying to share you right now with anybody else. So cooperate, enjoy this time with God. Let him show you those things that he wants to develop. Let him remove what he needs to remove so he can add what he needs to add. Amen. I pray this blesses and encourages somebody today. And by the way, I wrote a book about this whole transformation process. Uh, it's called The New Consecrated Cocoon. I challenge you to get that book and allow it to be your midwife during this time of your transformation process. Love you, family.